And here he comes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kentucky. Weighing in at 259 pounds. The WWE United States Champion, The Tank. Big time match on tap. When the competition level is this high, you can bet it will be memorable. This guy lives to compete, so he'll be treating this match as if he were defending the title. Oh, no. Oh, yes. The visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins has arrived. Well, certainly Seth Rollins has unmatched accolades, a championship resume, but a wardrobe that leaves a lot to be desired. Saxton, last time you saw that much drip, you called a plumber. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins. So he's been called the Kingslayer, right? The architect, the Messiah. How about we give him a new nickname, Mr. Delusional? <laughs> oh, bite your, bite your tongue, Cole. There is nothing delusional about this man. Seth Rollins has earned everything. It just happens that everyone else is jealous. Multiple Universal and WWE title reigns. He's won the Royal Rumble and Money in the Bank. You know, there was a time when Seth Rollins used to feed off the energy of the WWE Universe. Now he's just happy celebrating all of his accomplishments alone. And you can sense the anger emanating from the competitor tonight. Eyes like a blazing fire. This is a man you don't want to be in front of right now. He's a man possessed is what he is. But he's in for a challenge tonight, going head to head with Seth Rollins. A brilliant strategist who wages war on both the physical and psychological. In an pin attempt, no a kick out. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Oh, disabling the leg with that. Running elbow drop on target. Climbing to the top rope. Taking flight. Bang, what a splash. Cover. He's able to kick out before two. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. I've noticed that sometimes Seth Rollins can look a little overconfident in the ring. Is there a way to turn that arrogance against him? Oh, absolutely. Seth's confidence in his own abilities can lead to him leaving himself vulnerable for big attacks because he drops his guard to gloat. I think if you watch Seth closely and find the right time to attack when he least expects it, you get a great offensive opening. Watch out! Diving shoulder tackle! Seth Rollins desperately needs to figure this out. That's just excellent strategy, finding the right time to attack when Seth had his guard down. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Unmitigated demonstration of power. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. 